Hi Sally, good evening. Good evening, sir. So Sally, you know the purpose of this uh, meeting, right? Yes, so sir. we will have yes. So we will discuss about the admission process of and IIT Mandi uh, for PhD, right? So yes, uh, Sally, uh, before the discussion, so please uh, give a, a brief uh, introduction about yourself so that my students, uh, my viewers. Uh, can understand something about you. OK, yes. Uh, good morning. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Saidi. I'm from Maharashtra. I have done my bachelor's and master's from Bamu. And uh, my uh, research areas include feminism, gender studies. Uh, currently, I'm a PhD aspirant. And mm -hmm. before applying to IIT Mandi, I have also applied for uh, uh, IIT Bombay, where I have cleared uh, written exam and uh, I was qualified for the interview. And this is my second interview experience that I'm going mm. to share with you today. Right. So yes, uh, Sally, uh, you appeared uh, for uh, which uh, subject at IIT Mandi? Sir, I uh, applied for the English discipline from the School mm. of Humanities and Social Sciences. Right, so good. So now, Sally, uh, could you please explain uh, what was the overall process uh, for uh, PhD admission at IIT Mandi? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, the application for the PhD program at IIT Mandi uh, began this year uh, on 17th of April, mm. and the last day for the submission was 7th May. And mm. during the application process, they were asking for the research proposal. Uh, on the basis of which the interview would be conducted. Uh, after that, uh, the shortlisting criteria was displayed uh, right. where the uh, students were notified that uh, they have to fulfill the criteria to stand for the written test and the interview. Mm -hmm. uh, the criteria was mainly that 55% uh, marks in related discipline for the general or mm -hmm. CGPA of 6.0 on 10 points. Mm. And there was a 5% relaxation for the marginalized groups. Uh, with, right, this, uh, mm. uh, with this, there was also criteria of UGC net JRF or uh, gate mm. or other equivalent exams. Mm. Uh, after uh, ful fulfilling the criteria, mm. then declaration of the shortlisted candidates for PhD program took place at the IIT Man uh, Mandi's uh, right. uh, School of Humanities and Social Sciences portal. Right. Um, and uh, with this, uh, the candidates also in personal received mail from the institute. Right. After this, a uh, written exam was followed. And uh, mm. during the written exam, uh, as this session was conducted online, mm. they had uh, already given the link of it. Yes, the, uh, Sally, just uh, give me one second. Sally, uh, did you uh, did you submit uh, SOP like statement of purpose or uh, proposal? Yes, sir. During the application process itself, the research proposal was asked. Yeah, right, right. So yes, so that that's why I'm asking this question because research proposal and statement of purpose uh, like these uh, two documents are very essential for the uh short listing okay so that's why uh, always i like uh, i tell my viewers and students every time that uh, you should prepare that uh, that in a better way is so yes, as well so that's it okay yes so yes please uh, go on yes sir sir overall the phd program process was divided into two sections the first one was the uh, written exam and written the second test. was the uh, interview uh, right. For the written exam, uh, mail uh, was given and that had a link. Uh, mm. Sir, uh, in this exam, there was mm. uh, uh, 50 marks uh, uh, questions were asked. And the for written test? Yes, sir, 50 marks okay. in total. Okay. And the time marks. allotted was 1 hour and 30 minutes. Uh, and the exam was combination of both uh, subjective and objective type questions. Uh, Right. If we divide the written exam, uh, it had two sections. The mm. first one was uh, like objective type and the second was the subjective type. The objective mm. for the English discipline as I appeared for it, it uh, contained of the critical passages that we have to answer and the questions of in the form of multiple choice questions were given that we were asked to answer. And the time allotted for the objective type questions was 40 minutes. 40 minutes? This, 
यहाँ पे भी मतलब यहाँ पे भी मतलब टाइम डिविजन था एंड सर यर वन पैसेज वॉज अबाउट अ पोयम एंड द रिमेनिंग थ्री वेर बेस्ड ऑन प्रोज so okay. in this way uh, the the first part was uh, divided the okay. second part was uh, mainly about the written that is subject to types and two questions okay. were asked uh, one was about critical analysis of a poem i can read that out for you that uh, the question was about the mid century modern by ray or uh, armit trot this was oh, the first it. question that they asked The poem hmm. was given, and we have to critically please, analyze. Please, could you please, uh, yes, yeah, Sai, could you please repeat that uh, subjective question once again, so that uh, students will get the sense. Yes. In the future aspect, this is for future aspirants, right? Please yes, repeat sir. that. So the question was about the mid-century modern. Right. Yes, sir. And the so second question was about the uh, research proposal that you have submitted. They basically right. asked that uh, what research area you want to work on. what were the issues what were the questions objectives primary text and what you expect from the research that you want to opt for right right good sir uh, after this mm. uh, based on the performance in the written test uh, the candidates were further selected and the mm. selected candidates again received the mail to appear for the interview uh, interview on the next day uh, my interview right. was scheduled on uh, 30th of may and the time was uh, 9 am and uh, as the interview began there was uh, like a panelist of 6 to 7 members and uh, in, uh, like uh, how many members yeah sai just uh, tell me one thing how many members were there in your plan, panel the so 6 to 7 members were there six professors were there yes it's, okay good 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 i don't know good, exactly the number but uh, yes uh, in and around 6 to 7 there were okay very good okay yes sir and so a uh, time allotted for each uh, student i guess was uh, 15 to 20 minutes and uh, okay yes sir and with this uh, the interview began first they asked to introduce yourself hmm. and the it was asked, the first question yes sir okay good how you introduced uh, so yes i just uh, said about my name my academic background what i want to do and mm. from where i am okay so this was my short introduction anything and anything about your achievement did you uh, did you mention anything yes, about sir. your achievement so what yes, were, what were those information sir i did one course online course from iit madras that i have mentioned in that and mm. that's it like i didn't elaborate more than more okay, than good 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 please go sir, Yes, sir. So with the introduction, they also asked uh, like why you want to jo join IIT Mandi. This question mm -hmm. I really neglected because many of the IITs or institute that I have appeared for didn't ask for why their institution you want to prefer. Uh, here I did this mistake that I didn't prepare well for why IIT Mandi. And yeah, I think the future aspirant should definitely think why IIT Mandi is good for them. along with that they followed the question on explain your topic and what you want to work on uh, this was okay. the follow up question mm. then as my uh, uh, area of research was about the cyber space and women's voices they mm. basically asked me questions related to my topic the mm. first question they asked in this regard was uh, what is cyber space and mm. what primary text you are going to use and then primary you... sorry sorry primary text that you are going to use in the primary research. text yes sir okay okay got it yes sir and uh, how will you use literature to do your research because mm -hmm. my research was interdisciplinary one so they actually wanted to know the literature basis of my research and uh, they just kept on asking me about my methodology also as mine was a post structuralist uh, methodology they just asked like why this method is good for you and why uh, why not others so overall yes. uh, six to seven questions were asked in total not lengthy uh, was the interview uh, it was like non rigorous friendly and talkative type in this way the whole interview went on and right. yeah this was the overall experience of mine okay so uh, yes that that is totally fine i think uh, like uh, future aspirants uh, uh, for iit mandi okay so they will get a proper advantage of this uh, interview and interaction but i want to know one thing 
did you answer that question why mandi or you like uh, you skip that part no sir i have answered it i i could not recall it exactly because i mean, I, i just remembered after the interview that you just said that geographical location also matters when you say why iits uh, so sir basically if i remember that what i have answered i just said about the uh, research environment about the uh, portal that i have visited of mandi that uh, how research right. work is going on and how collaborative the uh, right. peer groups are and how the atmosphere basically in that sense i talked about not much i elaborated but whatever right. i could recall i just said that so yeah, that is fine this, hmm. yes sir i just want to say that uh, during my interview there was little uh, problem with the audio also so i really recommend everyone to have their laptops earphones or uh, internet connection like pre check before appearing there yes yes and the, the, all these are very useful information that what you have, what uh, information you have uh, mentioned okay for the future aspirants i think this will help you a lot okay yes, and the my, my final question so like uh, what is your uh, overall experience okay about what you have answered okay so what are you thinking how was it actually sir i think the interview was good it was nice and uh, like uh, mostly uh, more than an interview it was sort of communication between the scholars and the interview uh, the person who is just giving interview i think it was good and i, I think that yes uh, the things will turn out positive okay 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 uh, thank you sally for this uh, interview i think my viewers and future aspirants who will go through this video they will get advantage and they will prepare uh, very well for the iit mandi phd interview okay sally thank you thanks a lot for this uh, interaction and for thank this thank you so much sir thank you so much